Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at one of my selected lectures from my eight hour introduction to Windows Server 2016 for beginners course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. In this video, we're going to go over how to download and install VirtualBox. So open up an internet browser of your choice, go to your favorite search engine. I'm going to go to Google and type in VirtualBox. And hopefully the search result, if you typed it correctly, will be Oracle VirtualBox. You can actually just click directly to downloads, but we're going to go to the home page for people that go there. If you go to the home page, you can click here to download the latest version. You can also go to downloads and you can choose within here for downloads, whether you're on your Windows platform, an OS X platform or a Linux platform. Now, if you wanted to, you could also look at some of the older builds as well in here. So you can click into here and download some older builds. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is that I've had some issues in the past with the newest build of VirtualBox. And what I've done is I've gone back to an older build. So it's really, it's up to you. The interfaces are going to be slightly different, but the features should be the same. So let's go back to the main download page and I'm going to download VirtualBox 6.0.4 for our Windows system, since that's what I'm using. I'm going to let it download. And then once it's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and install it. It's a very simple process all in all. So it says about 12 seconds left. So go ahead and let that finish. And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and install it. All right, so it's downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and in Chrome, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell it to open it here. So you could go to your download folder or wherever and you could tell it to open it. And since I'm in Chrome, I could do it right there. So let's bring it over onto this screen. It'll take you to this screen, click next click next again, click next, click yes. So it's going to ask you, it's going to be installing Oracle Virtual Machine network interfaces. So it's gonna say that it's briefly gonna reset your connection and disconnect you from the network. Say yes, click install and let it install. Now, if you are on a Windows system, you are going to get the user access control prompt. So just say yes. And you also are going to get a pop up that's going to confirm to install some device software. Click install. Let it continue. And then you can tell it to start it afterwards if you want. I'm gonna not tell it to start and click finish because what I wanna do is I'm on my secondary screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the desktop icon over here onto my second screen and then open it from there. And so we can double click, opened on my other screen and let me slide it over and there you go. VirtualBox is successfully installed. So that's how you download and install VirtualBox on your Windows operating system. Now, if you're on a Mac or a Linux distribution, it's going to be similar, but the interface is going to be a little different. And of course, the installation process is going to be slightly different. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.